Hey, what is going on, guys? Silver Vacation Dark is here. Now, it's been a while since I actually since I actually done another news coverage, and I do apologize. Um, and plus, this this uh, this upcoming article I'm about to cover, I'm a little late to this. I do apologize. I haven't been able to get on my computer much, and co college is starting up again. And uh, a third excuse probably being I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> uh, but moving that aside, actually, we're all on, back on the subject of Final Fantasy XIV, more, or more namely, MMORPGs, um, Sword Art Online. Because what we got is more, what we got is a, is a Marvel hint for the Sword Art Online movie plot. And, um, the last time we ever got an update for the Sword Art Online movie was mainly for, was mainly during the announcement, which was about, which was a little, which was about sometime, around late 2015. Um, I know not not a lot of people are excited for it because a lot of people some people hate Sword Online, some people love Sword Online. They think some people think it's the best anime ever, but mm, I'm more neutral about it really. I mean, I love it, but uh, I'm going. I I don't want to. I don't want to cause a rage. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, Sword Online. This this actually piqued my. This actually really piqued my interest, and um, but yeah, it's the Sword Online movie. So, what can you say? Anyways, uh, link in the description below, as always. Uh, director offers a Marvel hint for Sword Art Online movie plot. SM movie is currently being storyboarded. Sword Art Online TV anime director Tomohiko Ito and character designer Shingo Adachi are set to reunite for an anime movie with the story series... A story by series light novel author Reiki Kawahara, set after the Mother's Rosario arc that wrapped up the second season. Okay, so we're getting a so we're still going on a continuation. Like, what happened after Sao Two? Okay, that's fine. I mean, um, I kind of like Sao Two, really. I mean, it's not. I mean, like, cause for one thing, it actually um, the second half of the second season actually did concentrate on Asuna, which and demonstrates uh, how much of a badass she can really be, which I really liked about it, and. Um, uh, I mean, true. She wasn't really. She didn't really show off a whole lot in the second seat in the first half of the uh, in the second half of the first seat. Yeah, I think. We, okay, you know what? I think we all get. I think we all know what ideas we have in mind. So yeah. <laughs> um, starting off 2016, while promoting his work on his season's erased anime, Ito mentioned that the SAO movie is currently being storyboarded and the completion of its scenario. Okay, so. We're get, so it's getting progress. It's just that like I don't think there's an actual release date for this thing yet. So I don't. As far as uh, news goes for this movie so far, there is no release date. At least as far as I know. Ito also explained that the movie will feature new characters as well as ones periphery of the novels. Sorry if I um, pronounce certain words wrong. I do apologize. <laughs> In terms of the plot, he suggested that the story had echoes of Avengers: Age of Ultron. Oh. Okay, um, okay, not that that's a problem or anything, it's just, why? I mean, I'm not really sure why, but alright. While the movie should should please long-standing Sword Art Online fans, Ito says it will make accessible to newcomers. With a laugh, he explained, they'll laugh, they'll cry, it'll make a good date movie. Oh, man. And we only get one picture from this, and if you can't, hold on, let me zoom in on that, actually. Can I not zoom in on here? Oh, there we go. I just had to press. I just I just pressed the wrong key by. I'm sorry. I pressed the wrong key by accident. We only got one picture, and it's just a picture of Kirito. It's very blurry because I had to zoom in like this. <laughs> Anyways, sorry about. Sorry, you had to see something so blurry. I don't know how else to bring that up. Aside. Um. But yeah. Um. This should actually be pretty good. I mean. I don't know how this will all fit in with the uh, essay with the uh, SAO or if it's gonna come into an SAO three because there's still another there's still another uh, game that the, that uh, the light novels have covered but not the an but not yet on the anime and that being the and that being is the um, I think it was called Underworld or something. I think it was called like Underworld or something. Uh, I don't know if they're actually gonna do that or if um, they're gonna do the Sao movie and then uh, maybe maybe Sao three to cover uh, to cover Underworld. I mean, it took a while. I mean, like it took two years to get. It took two years for Sword Online to get a um, second season. It took Attack on Titan 
three years to get a second season. It took a, it took Dororo five years to get a second season. Oran High School Host Club will never get a second season. I do. I am sorry, those of you Oran fans, but that's never gonna get a second season. It's been it's been about ten years old. It's been a little over ten years already. No, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm sorry. As much as 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 cool as it would to happen, it's not gonna happen. Plus, and it, and it took like uh, Oran Host. I mean, not Oran. Um, Assassination Classroom less than a year to get a second season. If you're, but then again, mm, it's a fresh anime. Uh, but uh, there's so many more anime. There's so many anime out there that deserve a second season. Like one, I mean, One Punch Man, Himoto Umaru-chan, Monster Musume. I think those are some anime. Those are some anime in my mind that I think deserve a second season. But I'm getting off topic. I I am so sorry. I'm getting off topic. But anyways, um, as a as a movie, um. I don't know how this will fit in because I haven't really read the light novels myself. Um, for those of you who have read the light novels itself, does it get any good? Like after after the Rosario's arc, um, someone in the comments tell me, ex tell me, um, does it does the story get any better after Rosario's arc? Like, um, like in precision from the because it does say that they're introducing new characters, what as well as ones that are free of the novels too so I'm really curious to know what you guys think um, what do you guys think about this movie as a matter of fact really um, do you think it's gonna be great I, do you guys are just gonna do you think it's gonna end up shit like you think like you guys would probably think of like everything as a, pretty much everything SAO um, I mean I think I mean I'll give it a watch sure I mean I'll give it a watch yes cuz um, I'm still a fan of SAO, even if people say it's bad. Um, I'm still a fan of SAO myself, so I'll probably get. So I'll definitely give it a watch when, if it, um, whenever it becomes available outside of the United States, it'll most likely get a dub anyways. Anything, almost anything SAO nowadays will most likely get dubbed. <laughs> I mean, we got the SAO Extra Edition dubbed, so why not? So I don't see why this wouldn't be. Anyways, um, with that out of the way, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I'll be sure to read those comments too. And as usual, I will see you guys in the next video. Jamata!